Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm obviously going to be doing a tutorial, finally. Lots of you requested for me to do a tutorial and that you missed them. I'm a little shocked. But hey, I'm here to help. So today I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to get from this to this power of editing. So I did a really nice smoky eye. This was requested. So if you want to see how to get this look, let's get on with it. First off, I always like moisturizing my lips. And the other day I like was laughing like, <laughs> and I split my lip and I was like, <laughs> not fun. And the lip balm, I'll use any lip balm I have. Uh, this one is from Bath and Body Works and it makes your lips and everything smell and taste super fresh. Like my handy dandy brow box so in here I usually just keep like my necessities which is my brows so I've been using the Anastasia brow pomade in dark brown probably one of my favorite 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 eyebrow brushes I don't know I just find that it's really precise and I love the end of the spoolie it just spoolies really good just go right into the pomade and I just line my bottom brow down there line the top fill it in you know, super natural. Kind of leave it there like it's a swimming sperm and then I just kind of spoolie the rest of the product to the front and that's what ends up there. And if there's not enough, then I'll kind of just like dab a little bit more into the front. Now that I have my natural brows, you guys want to know a secret? Uh, cinema secrets. I've been using my cinema secrets right now as I go because my eyebrow brush was dirty So I just spot cleaned it and now I spot clean my concealer brush because all my brushes are dirty as hell To clean up my brows Maybelline fit me concealer I really like this to clean up because it's a really nice thin consistency I'll just put a little bit on the back of my hand and then I was using the Anastasia concealer, but that thing sometimes it gets too thick and it disrupts my brow and I've had too many brow moments where I had to just fix it and then it started getting gunky because you know when you well I don't know if you guys have done this but if you put a little bit too much concealer and then it overlaps into the brow that's not a good time but this is so thin that it never does that and it cleans it up so fast I really like using the shade sand because I have the concealer and I never use it. I guess one day I just thought I could use sand to highlight underneath my eyes and I thought I was fair skinned one day, but apparently it didn't work out and I wasn't. So I use this to highlight underneath my brow bone. Uh, well, to make a natural highlight, see? I, I can't do that, that, hold on. I can do it on my right maybe, okay. Next. Prime my eyes. I love using Kat Von D's High Voltage Eye Primer. I never hear anybody rave about it, so I'm going to be the one to rave about it. I'm going to put a little bit at the tip of my booty bender, aka a beauty blender. Boop, boop, boop. Look at my eyelid. It is pretty pigmented. And now when I place this primer on, it makes my eyes so much brighter. And all you need is like a little dot of it. This primer, I almost went over my whole brow. I was like, oh my gosh. Look how bright my eye is. It's covered up any pigmentation, any veins, or anything that's popping out. I mean, if you just saw me like this, it's like, oh, I had a really rough night. Here's like, who wants Starbucks? And I've just been setting my eyes with my Laura Mercier powder. I usually use my Kat Von D one, but that one's back there, and this one's right here. So Okay, so I did get a request, obviously, for this smoky eye, and I was laughing because I put this product in high-end products that are not worth the hype. And the palette that I did use for this look was the Mario, but you know what? I didn't say it was a bad palette. I was just saying it's not something that I'm peeing my pants over, but I did use this palette for my smoky eye look, so I'm gonna use it. I've been trying to use it, and I just wanna get my money's worth out of it. The color I'm going to be going into is Isabella, and I'm just going to use a fluffy brush. I'm just going to put this right into my crease. This one is a pretty pigmented one, so just slowly work it in. And all these shades are really easy to dupe, so just get a similar burnt orange shade. Type of shade is really popular. Did I say shade a lot? Oh girl, you're throwing shade. And then the brush I'm using is the Sigma E35. When I put this in my crease, I just like to build up the pigment little by little, just so it's like diffused already at the top and I don't really have to blend too much with a clean brush. And then when I start working this into the crease, I'm going to start bringing this a little bit higher up towards the brow bone, but not too high. I need to add a little bit more color onto the left. I didn't add enough. Now I want to get up close to see if you can see that shine. It's I feel really dumb doing this, but I just really want you to see the sheen. Just pack that on. Okay, I try to wipe away my fallout. So I'm going to take that same brush that I had that warm shade on, and now I'm just going to diffuse that because I did bring that shade into the crease. 
So now we're just gonna start blending that out. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and pack on that color even more onto the lid. Right there. I'm gonna take Violetta and it's this more rich brown and I'm gonna work that into the crease. Again, this one's going to be with a new fluffy brush and right into the middle of it. And this is gonna give it some nice warmth and also depth. So we're gonna work that right in and just small circular motions and see it's kind of deepening in that eye and making it even more smoky and then we're going to use that same first shade the Isabelle that warm brown and we're going to help diffuse that at the top and when I'm putting the shade it's not only in the socket of the crease I'm still working my way up Okay, now I'm just going to use my brand spanking new wing liner brush from Sigma. I'm just so excited to use this baby. They switched their packaging to boxes, so whoop, whoop. For my eyeliner, I'm gonna be using the Tarte Tardis. I love this one. This one is a smaller one because it's from their holiday collection. I told you guys to really hop on it. I've already gotten so many uses out of it, and I'm like still halfway full. Like I've been using this the past month already, so I love this because it's super nice and black and it glides on really easily so let's see usually with this liner i don't even have to top my eye just because it glides on so well and you can go dramatic as you want if you want to fly out to the universe that's fine if you just want to just fly to your nest that's fine as well and if you don't want to fly then you can just do a regular wing create my line first it looks like i'm flying to the universe i wasn't sure and now we're just going to connect and fill that in. Bada bing, bada boom. And of course when I do my second wing, I like my second one better, but nothing that can, some concealer can clean up. So with that same concealer brush that I use to clean up my eyebrows, I'm going to be using my concealer I'm gonna use underneath my eyes. I just put a little bit on the back of my hand and then just take that and I just sharpen up the wing. Sometimes my wings are super like, er, er, er. they're completely off. So concealer, a lot of the times can be your best friend and help save them and you can kind of morph them. And right here, I'm gonna do that because this one's a little bit lower than this one. This one's kind of going, ooh. So I'm gonna make this one look, ooh, by bringing it up. And then afterwards, what I'll do is I'll just, take that same brush once that concealer kind of like sets and goes away and then i'll just kind of let's just pat that out i'm surprised i haven't made that into a song just pat it out i mean they have walk it out but i'm i'm not surprised they didn't put pat it out and then i'll just take my brush oh wait i want to make sure i have enough product on it not too much but enough and you want to make sure your tip is really nice and sharp and then you can kind of angle it out and do the shape that this one is doing so let's see okay that's looking better the lash I'm gonna be using is by Coco I love Coco lashes uh, the style I'm gonna be using is called Amore it is super similar to goddess except the ends are not as flared I don't know how to describe it it looks almost exactly like it I think this pair it just looks a little bit more spiky. So now the sample mascara I'm using, because I love to use my samples that I get from Sephora and stuff. This one is the Tarte Tardis, and I love this one. It's super nice and black. To me, this is blacker than like the Perversion mascara that came out from Urban Decay. I did not like that whatsoever. I still have it in the packaging. I used it like three times, and I have the receipt. It's going back. I swear, lashes do all the difference. When I started doing this tutorial, I was like, wow, this is looking really ugly. <laughs> Not even gonna lie, every time I did a tutorial, like, you know, in that weird stage where you're like, is, is that even gonna turn out okay? But once you hit all the face and everything, you're like, whoa. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the face. I always put on head bond, <laughs> a head bond. You know, I just always put a head bond whenever I do my face makeup. I. And I almost use it like as a perimeter to not get that ish in my hair. Okay, and it's just easier just to work with it. So the primer I've actually been enjoying and I wasn't sure I was going to feel about it is a Cover FX Mattifying Primer. I love this stuff. It feels kind of almost like the Maybelline Baby Skin. 
this is what it looks like and it's actually a really good primer. Uh, will I say it's mattifying? Yeah, it actually helps subside my oils, but it's weird because I've never had a mattifying primer that has like that silicone feel. So it does feel in your pores, which I love. I feel like it's one that's helping mattify, but it doesn't dry out my face because lately my skin's been more normal and I know the Smashbox pore filler, that purple one, that one works really well, but it's just like too mattifying where my skin starts creating new dry patches when I didn't even have dry patches. And lately I've been getting so many compliments on my foundation and the one I've been using the past a week is, or week or two actually, is a Super Stay a Better Skin Foundation from Maybelline. I am in the shade Pure Beige. This is in one of my top drugstore foundations. So I'm just gonna start bringing this all over and I'm just gonna do a thin layer because I don't have any true redness going on or anything like that and I have no friends on my face that want to party so and this does last all day do I have to blot within the day yes do I feel like it's good for dried skin gals uh yeah because it's actually it's one of those foundations that I feel is like in the middle if you prep your skin well enough you're not going to get as much oils and if you use proper primers but if you have dry skin and you properly moisturize and prep then you're going to be okay it's like one of those foundations in the center and then this is the time where I'll just pump a little on the brush and put it on the back of my hand again and I always use the foundation shade that I'm using all over my face to clean up the top of my brows because you can really tell when you use like a lighter uh, concealer at the top. Now I'll just do the rest of my face, which is my forehead, down my eyebrows, and then wherever else. So I usually don't go underneath my eyes most of the time because the more products you put underneath the eyes, the more chance you have for creasing and just more layers. So I try to avoid that. Uh, yeah, so I just use a full coverage concealer anyhow, so it's not like that layer or anything is gonna be doing anything, so yeah. And then say that I did wanna use a corrector, I don't wanna have foundation, then a corrector, then a concealer, that's just doing too much. Favorite concealer, which I've been using for the past month and a half that I've had it, or maybe two months, I Oh, I got really excited. Oh, but really quick. This is the Shape Tape from Tarte and it is so good. It is full coverage and I just love it because it's a full coverage concealer, but it's not that thick in consistency. Usually a lot of full coverage concealers, you'll have um, their cons the consistency be really thick and this is not. It's really nice and thin and it's awesome and it does not crease, at least not on me. If you use a ton, obviously it might crease and it has a better chance of creasing, but this is just the bomb. I love it. My Laura Mercier powder and I just set it and forget it. I'm not really a big fan of baking. I just like to just set these areas and then afterwards what I'll do immediately is just put on my powder foundation. This is the Tarte BB in medium tan honey. I uh, just hit pan on it and I haven't hit pan in a product in a while this is my favorite hands down favorite powder right now it turns into full coverage you can just wear it on its own it's great as a set I've raved about it a lot on my channel I'm just using a big fluffy brush this one is uh, f30 from Sigma and I like this too because it brings more color to my face as well because my face is looking a little light oh I forgot to sweep I just sweep right underneath there and right underneath there I barely used any powder and it just makes the face flawless. I love it. I'm definitely going to be repurchasing this product. You can get it only at Tarte's website. It's not on Sephora, but only at Ulta. And I don't know, you really have to try this out. Let me know if you like it. The only thing I don't like, but I do like is it is a sleek packaging a sponge and a little, it's cute. It's like a little purse for your powder, but I don't like how the sponge is separate because I mean, that's just inconvenient. I'll just bring like a brush with me and be extra when I bring this around. <laughs> so now this is usually the time where I set my brows. I'm just using the Benefit Gimme Brow. I ran out of my Essence Make Me Brow. It's basically like the same exact thing. I did a whole video on it. This is in the shade five. I don't really care how they're doing the shades by number. I kind of just want to know, is this medium dark? Is this dark? Tell me what it is. I don't know why that bugs me. <laughs> Bronze my face. I went back to my Makeup Forever bronzer. This one is in 30M. This is the Pro Bronze Fusion, a product that is never ever talked about. It is a gel powder. So when you blend it onto your face, it's almost like goof proof. It's like you can't 
not blend this product because it just blends really nicely into the skin on its own and you can build up the product. It is not super pigmented right away. You just build it. I'm using an Eda brush, a small one that came in a palette, a Venars palette, obviously. I do have the full size one, but that one's a little dirty. I don't really stroke back and forth like this. I like to just buff it in just like that. Do I still like this brush, the Eda brush? I do. I feel like it was so talked about and everybody was like, ah, you need it. And then out of nowhere, it just like disappeared. Uh, yeah, so I'm still using mine. And then you see how it like buffs into the face. I think it looks harsh on camera, but in person, it looks just like buffed in. I don't know. Like I said, it's goof proof. It adds some mascara to my bottom lashes. And now for blush, I'm going to be using this Marc Jacobs blush. This is in the shade uh, Flesh and Fantasy. When you first look at it, it looks like it would not show up on me, but it actually does, and it gives a really nice flush. I'm using a BH Cosmetics uh, brush. This one is from their Contour and Shape line, but I really like this one just to pat down that blush. And I love this blush, especially because this is probably one of my favorites right now that just gives enough flush to the face because when you already have like an intense smoky eye, sometimes it's a little scary when you have a doo -doo 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 type of blush. I used to do that back in the day. Oh my gosh, I used to be made fun of for my blush. And yeah, I had people would say, Lizzie, do you have enough blush? And they would like make a joke, but I was seriously like, no. This thing is expensive, but it lasts all day. I really didn't want to like these blushes and to recommend them because they are pricey, but hey, it's actually worth it. So if you are ever wanting to splurge on a blush or treat yourself, then check these out because they are really good. And besides, if you don't end up liking it, just keep your receipt. But look at that flush it gives. It's perfect. My favorite highlight, which I cannot stop wearing and I need to just maybe put it away. And I've worn it like two weeks in a row. This is the MAC Beaming Blush Shade. I put this in my Friday with boobs. It is stunning. It is, oh my gosh, I love it. It looks great on the cheeks. You'll see right now, I'm going to apply it. This is just a random Luxie brush. This is a tapered highlighter. It's exactly the same as the Sigma one, but this highlight, I, <laughs> I pair with any look. It blends into the skin so nicely. I mean, I've always loved Max extra, what is it, Dim D dimension? Extra dimension skin finish, just because they are just so stunning, but I find that the ones that I want all the time are always sold out so quick. So this one is awesome because I don't know if they're using the permanent line or what, but this has been on their site. It hasn't been sold out, so I wanna purchase this. There's another one. They ended up sending me this one and I love it so much that I would buy a backup if I knew it was gonna go away. Then I'll just take my blush, not my blush, my foundation powder brush and just kind of blend everything seamless, seamlessly. You know, so it just blends in. I just kind of do a C motion because I like to glow like that. I'll put it down my nose, Cupid's bow. Oh, and lately I've been putting a little bit on my chin, not too much. There's not that much on there though, but I'll do that too, just for like a nice little glow. But I've been loving, you know what you guys have been missing? But that highlight though. I haven't said that in so long. What's wrong with me? I don't know, I just feel like there's so many other people with great tutorials that I think that's why I feel discouraged to do tutorials. I like really wearable looks that may be considered basic, but I guess call me basic, but I don't think I'm basic. But I think my looks are nice. I just find that some looks are just so beautiful and so detailed that it's like, why would I even do my type of tutorial? And I feel like there's so many tutorials. So thank you for everybody pushing me saying that you missed my tutorials because I did notice those comments. So let me know if you want more tutorials and I'll do them. I just feel sort of discouraged. I don't know why. Like I said, there's just so many and some people just do the best damn tutorials. So I'm just like, <laughs> so now for the lips, uh, this is a brand new color. I picked it from the Sephora VIB and this is Bow and Arrow from Kat Von D. And you wouldn't think this would be that pretty of a color at first, but when you put it on, it's like a really beautiful fawn nude. I love it, it's a very wearable brown, uh, definitely appropriate for fall. And another shade that I absolutely love that I forgot how much I loved it until I did my recent video is Clara from BH Cosmetics. I love this shade. Okay, so the first shade I put on was Bow and Arrow. Now the second shade I love is Clara and this one is from BH Cosmetics and I love this shade. It is so stunning. 
So then this one is clear and this is probably as dark as I'll go with a smoky eye just because the eyes are intense. I don't like to get too wild with lip colors but I find that this one just works a lot of the time. I don't know. I love these two shades. Uh, I don't. I just love Clara so much and it just makes her lips just like ooh. So I'm going to put a poll right here because I'd love to know which lip color you preferred if you liked bow and arrow or if you like Clara or the third option if you liked both of them. I happen to like both of them. I'm just curious what you guys think. That is it for my video today. I hope you guys enjoyed Give this a big thumbs up if you want me to do more tutorials. I just want to say thank you for encouraging me to do them because like I said, I'm not the best artist out there. I never claim myself to be a makeup artist, but I love playing with makeup and if I can help you guys out, then hey, why not? Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't because it is free, 99, literally free. I'll see you guys in my next video and I'll leave all my social medias down below. And I love you guys. Mwah.